Welcome back to Idealist. Today we're running wide open throttle through the top 10 quickest production trucks to ever hit the streets. And no, Trav didn't add a truck bed to his Viper. These are all proper haulers. All of these are sleeper trucks you should think twice about racing. And some of them even slay supercars on the drag strip. Let's go. Ford Raptor 3.5. You know this is gonna be fun when one of the slowest trucks on this list is an EcoBoost Raptor. The Raptor is Ford's take on a road legal trophy truck. And truth be told, there is a lot to love. It's twin turbocharged V6 that shares about 70% of its parts with the Ford GT, by the way, propels all 5,600 pounds of this pickup down the drag strip in just 13.9 seconds. Zero to 60 comes in 5.2, and thanks to its 10-speed automatic transmission, you're always in the ideal gear to unleash all 450 horsepower and 510 foot-pounds of torque on your highway enemies. And hey, real quick, if you wanna learn more about the Raptor, go check out this vid the new guy just did. Ford F-150 Lightning. Chalk up another win for the boys at the Blue Oval. This has to be the most underrated machine in the entire history of Fast and Furious. The first Ford Lightning, it was cool, but the second one is legendary. Why do you think Brian O'Connor drove one when he was running parts for Harry? Under the hood, it's packing a supercharged 5.4 liter V8 capable of 380 horsepower and 450 foot pounds of torque. It's got upgraded brakes, stiffer suspension, and a full suite of styling cues, including side exit exhaust to let everyone know it is something very special. From a dead stop, you're doing highway speeds in just 5.1 seconds, keep the hammer down in a quarter mile is over in just 13.6, and that is quicker than a Mustang GT of the time. These F-150s are absolute gems. Pick one up and live your tuna no crust fantasy, and of course, we'll link to all these ideal trucks via Auto Tempest down below in the comments. Ram SRT10. Not only is this perhaps the craziest production street truck ever built, the Ram SRT10 is hands down one of our favorites. It's one of the most Mopar creations ever. While Ford and GM worked on refining and tuning their existing drivetrains to make a powerful pickup, Dodge just took the biggest engine they had and just shoehorned it in it. It's powered by the exact same 8.3 liter V10 found in the Gen 3 Viper, and it can be optioned with the Viper's manual transmission as well. It's the first in today's group to break the five second mark to 60, covering the quarter mile in 13.2. It's not the quickest truck on this list, but it is the fastest, with a top speed of over 156 miles per hour, which is just way too fast in a truck. But if you do it, you should probably put the tailgate down because aerodynamics. And tailgate down was again, the worst. Well, there you go. And if you think that's impressive, we'll just wait for what's coming up next. Toyota Tundra TRD Supercharge. Back in 2008, you could order a six complete with its standard 5.7 liter V8 and then option a dealer installed TRD supercharger which retained the full factory warranty. The result was an American made Japanese pickup capable of running the sprint to 60 in just 4.4 seconds with a quarter mile of 13 flat. These TRD Tundras made a mind blowing 504 horsepower and 550 foot pounds of torque and were paired with a six speed automatic transmission. It is by far the quickest thing that Toyota had made at the time. And it's insane to think that these pickups were only about a second slower to 60 than the LFA. Which if you wanna learn all about Lexus, check out the ideal story up here. GMC Cyclone. 280 horse, 350 foot-pounds of torque. This truck literally shook the automotive world when it was released in 1991. Under the hood is a turbocharged 4.0 liter V6, sort of like a slightly bigger version of the one found in the Buick GNX. But unlike the G-Body Bruiser, the Cyclone and the Typhoon Brother come equipped with permanent four-wheel drive. The result is a pickup truck that's from the factory, quicker than a Ferrari 348. Hell, it wasn't that far off from the F40. Zero to 60 came in a blistering 4.3 seconds, and it will complete the quarter mile time in just 12.9, beating the Corvette ZR1. I mean, this thing isn't just fast for an old truck from the 90s, it's wicked fast by modern standards. And back when it was new, it was among the fastest production cars ever tested. While it was the Ram Little Red Express in the 70s that paved the way for the purpose-built factory fast pickups to come, it was the Cyclone that set the bar really high, and then it held the record for the fastest production truck for 13 years. Yeah. Ford F-150 Lightning. The new F-150 Lightning is, well, there's no other word for it than EV. And while the jury is still out on whether or not an EV pickup genuinely works when it comes to doing pickup truck things, like towing, hauling, and reliable off-roading, there is no debate that it is an amazingly quick vehicle. 
mash the accelerator, and silently hit 60 in just 3.8 seconds. Yes, 3.8. We're approaching supercar numbers now. The Lightning shrugs off the quarter mile in just 12.4, and seeing that it's an EV, even though it's pretty heavy, they actually handle really well since all that weight is placed down so low. This is the first truck on the list that isn't squarely aimed at going fast, yet it slides in at number five. It is a crazy time that we live in, people. Ram 1500 TRX. After seeing the response to the F-150 Raptor, the Dodge Bros didn't want to miss out on all the fun. Enter the Ram T-Rex, or TRX, you know, because <laughs> T-Rex would eat people. The Ram TRX is powered by the same power plant you get in the Hellcat, a supercharged 6.2 liter V8 powerhouse that makes 702 horsepower and a gargantuan 650 foot-pounds of torque. To be clear, this 3.7 second run was recorded by car and driver, and they were blown away by how quick this thing was. Motor Trend, on the other hand, got a time of 4.1, so. Regardless, the TRX does the quarter mile in 12.3, cementing it firmly in the top five. And if it wasn't for this next truck, it would be the fastest production internal combustion pickup in the world. And it's definitely Trav's pick. Me, on the other hand, I'm gonna go with this. Ford F-150 Raptor R. Ford couldn't just sit back and watch Ram just topple over the Raptor namesake. So they hit back hard because, well, they came out with the Raptor R and it has that new Predator V8, a 5.2 liter, 700 horsepower monster that turns out a very healthy 640 foot pounds of torque. The same engine that you get in the Shelby GT500 with a slightly different tune. And like the other Raptors, it all runs through a 10 speed gearbox, meaning it just lives in that power band. All that gets you to 60 in 3.7 seconds and nets you a quarter mile in an absolutely absurd 12.1 seconds. Plus, unlike the TRX, the Raptor R has a two wheel drive mode for ultimate hooning. The only downside here is that it is about 20K more than the T-Rex. So, I don't know, don't tell Trav. Rivian R1T. Rivian's R1T is truly an amazing pickup it's got four independent electric motors that are all powered by a massive 135 kilowatt hour battery pack, which is really weird because I feel like in the future that's how we're gonna be talking about all motors instead of horsepower and liters. Anyway, the Rivian's good for 60 in just 3.1 seconds and a quarter mile of 12.6, which is very amazing stuff. And scary fast for a vehicle that weighs this much. It serves up the equivalent of 835 horsepower and 908 foot-pounds of torque. And in a straight-up drag race with, say, a Porsche Cayman GT4, the Rivian absolutely smokes it. GMC Hummer EV. Any car capable of hitting 60 miles per hour in three seconds flat is very impressive. So a truck that weighs four and a half tons? That's downright astonishing. The GMC Hummer EV launches a dig so violently it makes your stomach turn. It's equipped with three electric motors that combined give you a thousand horsepower and 1200 foot pounds of torque. It's violently quick for any four wheeled machine, but it's bigger, less aerodynamic design and extra weight give a final quarter mile time of 0.1 seconds slower than the R1T. You need some serious firepower to line up next to one of these at the drag strip because as of today, the Hummer EV takes the crown as the world's quickest pickup. Crazy times. So, money no object, which truck is the ideal pick? Well, for me, I'd have a hard time not saying yes to the Raptor R because I think it's the perfect blend of urban assault vehicle combined with enough truck qualities to make it ideal, plus, just downright cool. So I wanna hear your picks down in the comments below and go check out this vid up here or this one down here. Also, like, subscribe, turn on that notification bell. And I'm Brad, this is Ideal and promise me one thing, keep living the ideal lifestyle.